All right, in this video, I'm going to go over one-step equations and how to check your solutions for those equations to make sure you have the right answer. Now, I want you to always locate the variable in your equation. And if the variable is adding something, the inverse of that is to subtract. If the variable is subtracting something, the inverse of that is to add. The variable is being multiplied by something, the inverse is to divide. And if the variable is being divided by something, the inverse is to multiply. So if you know that, you should be able to solve these pretty easily, especially since you can use a calculator. So this says 1 eighth times e equals 4. So e is being multiplied by 1 eighth. What's the opposite of multiplying by 1 eighth? You could divide by 1 eighth. 1 eighth divided by 1 eighth gives you 1. So on this side of the equation, you're left with 1 e, or just e. And then here, this is 4 divided by 1 eighth. Now you could use a calculator or you could say to yourself, okay, 4 divided by 1 eighth is the same thing as 4 times the reciprocal. And I would get 32. All right. So to check my answer, the original equation goes on top of the T chart. So I'm going to say 1 eighth E has to equal 4. And then I plug in what my answer is for E. 1 eighth of 32 has to equal 4. And what is 1 eighth of 32? It's 4. So my last step of my check is always me writing whether or not I get the same number on both sides of the equation, which I did. If I get the same number, then that means my answer checks out. It's the correct answer. Here, H is being divided by 0 0.3. What's the opposite of dividing by 0 0.3? Multiplying by 0 0.3. So I'm going to multiply the si this side of the equation by 0 0.3, and I'm going to multiply this side of the equation by 0 0.3. And I get h equals, well, let's see. Over here, the 0 0.3 and the 0 0.3 equal 1. So I'm left with h divided by 1, or just h. And over here, this is 30 times 0.3, which my calculator says is 9. So I get h equals 9. Then for my check, I'm going to say, okay, h divided by 0 0.3 has to equal 30. Then I plug it in. 9 divided by 0 0.3 has to equal 30. Now let's say I didn't have a calculator. I could always say, okay, this is 9 divided by 3 tenths, which is the same thing as 9 times 10 over 3 which is 30. Good. So I can write 30 equals 30. Check. So I know my answer is right because my equation is balanced. I get the same answer when I plug in h equals 9. Okay. Now here, this looks like a longer equation because there's two things on this side of the equal sign and only one thing on this side of the equal sign. But if you notice, these are like terms so I can combine them. Negative 4x plus 16x is positive. 12x. So I have 12x equals 60. x is being multiplied by 12. What's the opposite of multiplying by 12? Dividing by 12. So I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. So I'm left with x or 1x equals 5. Now when you do your check here, you don't want to write 12x equals 60 on this check line. You want to write negative 4x plus 16x equals 60. Now the reason you want to do that is maybe when you're solving this, you combine like terms incorrectly. The check is supposed to tell you if you made any mistakes. So you want to start with the original equation. Plug in 5 two times. Notice I didn't combine like terms because that could have been where I made my mistake. Then evaluate. So 16 times 5 is 80. Okay, then say to myself, okay, negative 20 plus 80 is 60, 60 equals 60, check. All right, and lastly, Caitlin thought the answer to her equation 3x minus 4 equals 9 was x equals 7. Show a check of her answer to determine if x equals 7 is the solution to this equation. So let's see. It doesn't want me to solve. It wants me to show a check. So I know how to do that. This side of the equation is 3 times x minus 4, and this side's 9, and I'm going to plug in 7. 3 times 7 minus 4, 9. 
3 times 7 minus 4 is 3, 9, 3 times 3 is 9. So was her answer correct? Yes. How do I know? Well, my check worked out. When I checked, when I plugged in 7 for all values of x, both sides of my equation equal the same number. So when I plugged in 7 for x, both sides of my equation equaled the same number, which was, in this case, 9. All right, I hope this was helpful. Please see me if you have any questions.